Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and honestly, this is the last time y'all are going to hear me say my name because for some reason, that's just so cringe to me. But since it's my first video, I had to introduce myself. One thing I'm going to do is rumble a lot. So I'll keep the intro short and simple. So my channel's theme, slogan, catchphrase, niche, or whatever you want to call it is the world through my eyes. I know that sounds so like cliche and cringe, but it's basically um, narrowing my entire channel to my life and everything I do, literally everything I do, like in terms of vlogs and literally everything okay um throughout the video i'll be sharing more facts about myself in a way that will only come out naturally because sitting here and just talking is not cute it's not for the week maybe because it's my first video but still because of this fact majority of my content will be in the form of vlogs by majority i mean like 87 percent of my content will be in the form of vlogs if that's something that you're into then stick around welcome if not then i'm glad to see you leave as we are clearly not for each other but honestly this is the beginning of a turning point in my life and i'm so so excited that I'll get to record each step of the way. Since you stayed, we're basically internet besties. So every upload is a FaceTime call. And also, just excuse the mirror in this entire video because I knew it was dirty, but not that dirty. <laughs> not that dirty, but I hope you enjoy the videos. The amount of times I've pressed start, stop, start, stop. I've done this way too many times. But let me tell you about today's plans. So... I'm meeting up with a friend and we're just gonna go to Rosebank and we're just gonna chill and everything but let me tell you all the original plans I initially planned to start my channel on Valentine's Day because we had a Galentine's plan and I'm like this is gonna be so exciting because it's gonna be my first Galentine's so that was really exciting then they moved it to Saturday then I was like but why but like I mean people are taking they're busy so they're like okay let's do it the weekend before Valentine's I'm like okay Ben like no problem you know no problem still kind of a problem but like it's fine <laughs> it's fine so then um today was the day then like on thursday i get a message saying that um oh they're chaining the plans instead of like because we planned to do a picnic instead of a picnic they planned um a dinner and stuff and that wasn't gonna work for me because one i already asked for permission and i don't want to have to ask again because yeah that's a lot of work so it wasn't gonna work out for me and then um it was also a maybe they're not sure and i'm like bah please i've been saying i'm going to uh record like uh, the day that all these events happen so that would be like my first video so i'm like the fact that you're playing this it might happen it might happen yeah it's getting to me you're like stopping me from doing what i want to do so yeah that happened then um yeah we decided well i decided not to be involved in that galentine on top of that it's not really like with my friends it was like i was invited by one of my friends and we're going to meet up with so many other people that i don't know so i was like you know for in the moment i was like it is what it is i mean i, I got invited you know we're gonna go we're gonna have fun and i'm gonna meet new people low-key i was like meeting new people but it's fine but it's fine but anyways that's not even the point point is that was cancelled it wasn't cancelled i just didn't go they still have those plans going on they just turned it into a dinner type of thing and i'm like nah so then i started okay since i already asked for permission about saturday i don't want to not go and then have to ask again some other time so i'm like you know what it's fine you know i'm just gonna change up the plans so then i called up like one of my friends and i asked her like oh you want to hang a call we've been having like a pending meetup we plan to meet up like in um march for around like my birthday time that's what we planned but this was like a perfect opportunity so i was like okay you know like she was even like she's down anything <laughs> she's like you know i'm down and everything so yeah so meeting up with her at 11 actually and i woke up at six because i'm expecting load shedding at eight and i need to charge my phone and all that stuff but we're only meeting up at 11 so i really woke up so early but just just to be safe because i don't want to have to deal with load shedding and be rushed afterwards so i'm like better be prepared already that when it happens it's fine it doesn't bother me so yeah yeah basically today's schedule is just going to rosebank chilling with my friend after that i have a bible studies plan with my friend as well like a different friend and then after that yeah that's basically the whole day and so i plan to like record a whole week's like worth of content like a week in my life type of thing 
not me doing this like girl that's exactly what it is so i plan to do like a week in my life type of thing just to see like what i what i like editing my favorite angles and stuff so y'all gonna have to bear with me in terms of how i record in terms of everything because it's really my first video and i'm just trying to see what i like and what i don't like so that's why i'm really excited i mean i'm probably not showing my excitement within how i speak it's early okay <laughs> it's actually early so yeah i'm really excited for that i'm hoping that this video will be like at least 20 minutes 20 25 i don't know i'm just hoping that it'll be at least that so but uh, overall i'm just super excited like ah uh, i'm finally doing this y'all let me tell y'all so my some of my um like friends that know that i've been wanting to start a channel the fact that i've been wanting to start ever since 2020 it's been four years and here i am i'm not me saying four years and showing three fingers it's been four years and here i am finally starting it like i'm proud of myself honestly <laughs> every year there's been an excuse and this year i'm like no excuses that's why every time these galentine's plans kept on like giving off um it's happening it's not happening i was like yeah no i'm gonna find something that's gonna for sure happen that i'm gonna record but let me just show y'all what i got for my friend i just felt like i needed to get her something it just i don't know i felt obliged and therefore i was like being rushed yesterday i just went out and i just got a few basics when i tell you basic you will just it's basic i'll show you so firstly i got her a gift bag which has a card that i still haven't written anything on so i still have to get that back but then again i have time like i woke up really early oh yeah let me show you a random pen that i'm not even sure if it's gonna work because i didn't even test it in the store i just took it but it's cute problem something else personally if someone assumes that my favorite color is pink because i'm a girl it gets on my nerves like it annoys me because like what are you trying to say like just because i'm a girl my favorite color is pink that's why my favorite color is not pink it's blue so it's like now i don't know my friend's favorite color so i was just assuming that it's pink <laughs> I was just like, okay, let me get her pink stuff. She seems like a pink girl. But if anyone assumed that about me, that I'm a pink girl, that would be annoying. But yeah, I got her like a pen thingy, which I have to put in here. A small pink notebook type thing. This is going to be reversed because I like flipping my videos, so it's going to be reversed. So yeah, small pink notebook. She must write her ideas down. When I tell you, girl is busy. She is such a busy girl. So I'm just going to tell her. I'm trying to make sure... <laughs> The fact that I'm trying to make each item have a meaning, that's something I just randomly picked up. Like, okay, this will be cute, this will be cute, like, just something, you know? But yeah, she can write her thoughts down, or her to-do list stuff. I don't know, yeah. So there's that. Then I got her a pair of hoops, if you can see. I don't even know how to show, but yeah, that. I also got her these, like, hair clip stuff. They're cute. There's that as well. A pair of hair bands. Yeah, there's that. Lip gloss. That. Am I missing something? Oh, a keychain thing. Do you notice how? Yeah. If you can, yeah. I don't even know, but you see, like it's a keychain. Um, notice how majority of the things are pink. And then I had the main character thing, which is a cap. Honestly, it's not from Shein. I just bought it, and then I didn't want to just put it in the. Let me. Then you just want to put it in here like that so then i just took one of my uh, sheen stuff in front of her cap again it's pink what if her favorite color is not pink it's fine having pink items is fine it's just the assumption that every girl's favorite color is pink that gets me like bro what are you trying to say so yeah there's that and then i got a few snacks and chocolates as well so there's also that there's that so as i said i'm expecting load shedding soon i need to charge my phone because my phone can be a hater sometimes like you'll just die when i need it the most so i need to make sure by the time i leave it's 100 percent and i need to also make sure that the power bank is fully charged what else yeah i just need to make sure like i have my last bits write the notes for her and just those types of things oh my gosh i did my own nails like it's my oh don't know mm -mm. i just realized they look really ugly it's a jump scare honestly but from a distance they kind of eat and i did them myself i hope i can speak in the uber or maybe i should just like what do you call it fake it till you make it just walk in and just act like i know what i'm doing you know and just talk but yeah i'll see y'all in uber i need you yeah i really do tell me what to do okay tell me what to do okay
tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. Okay. Deep down, I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. All of a sudden now, I cannot call her. I'm trying to connect to the mall's Wi-Fi, but it's not giving it's not working actually so i need to find like a checkers or shop right or pick and pay or something so i can buy airtime so i can call her i should have thought of this before but here i am so yeah i'm gonna try to do that and then i need to make sure that i remember where i came in so that i can tell her let's meet at mcdonald's because there's literally mcdonald's like right there so if i know where oh, the wi-fi <laughs> Not her messaging me now and me realizing there's actually Wi-Fi. Okay, let me take her. Tell them it's all. I don't really know how to confess my love. Really seem like I wanna test my love for you. Who don't know how to express my love. That's why American Express. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's my love for you. I need you, yeah, I really do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. All I know is hit the mall and see what damage I could do. I give you the world, but there's other planets too. And I need someone to be paid. I wanna buy gym clothes. Gym clothes? Mm hmm Don't you like it's so cool and it inspires you to like come to you. Someone to get money when I take it from me. But they don't even need to be as famous as me. I don't think I meet them at the places I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but <laughs> sunny, sunny. <laughs> I want you to send me. But I'm 
having fun. Now I'm having so much fun. I had to take a bathroom break. Caitlin would come with me, but since if we leave our uh, table, someone's probably gonna take it because they took our table. And I'm sure you can't hear me because of the music and how loud it is and the echo in here. But I just wanted to take a bathroom break. So cute in here. It's actually the cutest. Let me show you on the bathroom break. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, but it's just cute. Let me show you. my tripod trying to set it up here and it's my favorite tripod it's like my hand tripod Ugh. Uh, I don't even know how I'm gonna fix it or maybe I just have to get a new one but not now because yeah and I got it recently it just fell that was annoying but let me tell you about today's plans so my mom ordered something and um, she asked me if I can go with her to pick it up at Centurion so there's that then I ordered like a laptop for school basically because my old laptop just stopped working and let me tell you all about that laptop it pisses me off till this day so i had the laptop right and um it's like started doing some funny things it wasn't working i got i went i got it fixed and it started working and it was fine then i was like okay bed like you know i used it etc then at some point it just died it stopped working completely and i was like bruh i'm not about to go get it fixed again because that's just gonna cost and i'm like you know at this point um let me just wait until i can get a new one then um my brother asked me he goes uh can you give me the the laptop and i'm like bruh it doesn't work and i was so sure that it doesn't work. i'm like but it doesn't work i tried everything etc it's not gonna work and then he's like okay just bring it like that that time i was in pretoria now i'm like here in Joburg. yeah he goes uh just bring it uh the next time you get here i'm gonna try something and he's like if it works like if i fix it you can no longer take it back and me being so sure that it's not gonna work, I'm like, okay, yeah, it's not gonna work though. Like, I tried everything, it's not gonna work unless you're gonna go get it fixed again. And then he's like, okay, yeah, no pops. Tell me why I bring the laptop. Mez watches two videos and he fixes it. And I'm like, my laptop, <laughs> I want it back. But uh, yeah, and I couldn't take it back. So then, yeah, 
finally ordered one like yesterday and it's arriving today so that's exciting i'm really excited and i find that like, it's so convenient that i ordered it and like now i can get to edit on it because i was planning on editing on the tablet and now i feel like i can edit on the laptop so convenient things are just falling into place honestly so oh and today's valentine's day tell me why i go in my brother's room to get my phone and then i see like oh nah can't <laughs> can't expose him like that but yeah uh today's valentine's day i have plans with my friend jayla we're planning to like watch a movie and video call while we like bake something that's gonna be so much fun but we're doing that like later on in the evening so that's fun and i had to find a movie i literally went on tiktok started searching valentine's day movies to watch etc etc and like so many popped up but then i saw this one called upgrade and i was like mm, it's giving something i would watch so then yeah i chose um the movie upgrade i'll tell you how it goes but I know it's gonna be fun already. Hopefully we don't have no cheating code, bruh. Oh, let me also tell y'all. Tell me why on Monday, the amount of times I say tell me why. On Monday, I wake up um in the morning, my nose or my throat is feeling like itchy, you know, like the beginning of flu. I'm like, no, why? That time it's not even cold, it's not raining. It's like why? Why am I sick? You know, doesn't make sense. And then um, yeah, basically being sick for two days. And that's not even an excuse as to why I didn't record. I just didn't record because there was nothing going on. I literally slept throughout Monday, slept throughout Tuesday. And I was like, okay, since I have some things going on today, we can um, record today. Let me think. Did I tell y'all about the things like the running errands? If I didn't, then um, I also need to go and buy like an extension cord and hangers and um, makeup wipes. So there's also that that I'm doing today. So that's going to be, it's not going to be fun because I don't really like going out. I don't really like being in public places. Personally, I would always um, order things online. But it's one of those things you have to go buy in store. And I also need to go to the bank because I have um, something I need to do. I wanted to do it alone. I wanted to do it alone. I researched how to do it. And they're telling me how to do it. And then I'm like, bruh, but like my banking app does not have the option you're telling me that I should have and then uh, I realized that you actually have to go um, to the actual branch like in person and they'll do that for you so I also have to do that today my mom is here now so I'm about to like leave but I just wanted to tell you also I did my nails alone I already mentioned that I did that like two weeks ago was it two weeks it was two weeks ago and I'm so pissed like I want to like oh I want to rip them off honestly like oh actually getting on my nerves and this is why i don't really like getting my nails done because i get so tired of them and i was telling myself that oh this is like the perfect length you know i'm not going to be annoyed etc i'm so annoyed i really want to remove them and um so i'm starting my own like nail kit and have everything except the remover and i cannot i'm not patient enough to wait for like them to fall off i kind of need to find something for them to like all fall off and remove them also my hair it's pissing me off <laughs> everything is pissing me off so i did my hair you won't believe it a week ago and it already looks this old but i have um on saturday i'm planning on like removing this plated area like this um section and then i'm going to braid it like singles and see if i can save it if i can't save it it is what it is you know it is what it is so it's literally been a week or two but yeah for real for real, my mom's here let me go oh my god oh tired it's actually crazy so we went to centurion all was well tell me in the train i oh like i thought i was healing i convinced myself this morning when i woke up that i'm good like i'm actually good it's not as bad as day one or two so i was like okay it's good i'm good now i'm thinking that i even sound sick and i hope that's not the case i really hope i don't sound sick but in the train i'm feeling so stuffed i'm like at some point i felt like i wanted to vomit so bad it was actually it was mm, no it wasn't nice but we got what she wanted and we came back uh it felt like it was so long but we came back now i'm so hungry and oh you know i also feel like the reason why i felt like vomiting or i wasn't feeling well in the train at all was because i left without eating like i haven't eaten anything since 
so i think that also contributes to how i was feeling which it was not nice at all like i just felt like yo i need to be sleeping right now and then on top of that i didn't even drink my medicine this morning so one you don't eat then you don't take your medicine and then i'm just expecting to be okay throughout the day but yeah so we just got back now hey and the whole time i was thinking like dang what if my laptop arrives like i want to collect it myself i like to collect my deliveries on my own I'm like i want to collect it myself etc so one of my brothers that didn't go to school today i told him that if like it arrives you know you need to go and get it because every time he orders things i always collect them when he's not here so i told him to do the same for me right and he's like okay no problem then i was like okay at least i know that there's someone who um is going to get it so then um i receive a message on the train about some uh your delivery blah 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 will be like will arrive before 5 p.m etc i'm like, okay 5 p.m is not bad and they say that all the time and every time they say um it'll arrive by like 5 p.m before 5 p.m it's always around 12 or 1 p.m that it arrives so it's like i was thinking like dang we need to get back i want to collect it myself even though there's someone i told to like get it for me i was still like nah i want to get it myself <clears throat> oh this is such a wrong time to be sick but i'm also so grateful that by the time it's like Sunday, Saturday, I'll be fine. So as we went to Centurion, right, we took the opportunity to also ask information about the train and stuff. And I'm like, Ugh, this life of having to wake up like an hour, not even an hour. Normally I wake up an hour early because of my own plan. And I used to wake up an hour early in Pretoria. Now I'm like, girl, gotta take a whole train and stuff. So I have to wake up like three hours early now. Like what? But it is what it is we're gonna do it anyways um oh yeah we asked questions and stuff and as we just asking the questions i'm just like yo this is gonna be a hustle but i'm trying to look at it on the positive side my friend who takes the train tiana we really planning that um we're going to start like meeting up at the train normally we we'll meet up at like once she arrives in pretoria we like meet up there and then we walk to um to school so now we're just going to start meeting up at the hard train station and then we'll start going. And we're looking at it on the bright side. We're like, okay, you know, um, here and there, when we come back early, we can just go to Santon because it's like literally in Santon. We can always just go to Santon. We can chill. We can go like for lunch, etc., etc. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, you know, these things are actually exciting me because I'm like, okay, it's making it not so bad. So there is that. I'm not looking forward to it, but yeah, that also explains my plans for tomorrow. So I have to go to Pretoria and I need to collect my suitcases that I left from last year. I need to collect my, like, all that stuff. That's why tomorrow is mainly going to be a whole organizing type thing. Like, I need to come here and that's why I need to buy, like, hangers and stuff. So, yeah, I'll speak more on that, like, tomorrow or something. But I'm actually not feeling okay at all, but it's fine. At the same time, I feel like, let me eat and let my laptop arrive i feel like those two things are gonna make my day but yeah let me go make food then i'll be back um hopefully around the time where i have my laptop if not then when we go run the errands so yeah it's really me out here buying things i don't need i want to buy a bottle just because it's blue and i'm seeing so many other options look at this look at this like bra it's just it's missing some things but it's so cool though Do I even need it? That's the question, bro. What are we thinking? Stop it. Just move, man. Okay, I don't know if I want to take it anymore. And then look at these. Let's pick, bruh. Stop. 
Then there's these. If there was a blue one, I would get this, but there's no blue. This is the only shade of blue they have of this type. And this is green. This is ugly. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I didn't come for that anyways. Of course, I already opened it. I opened it like yesterday as soon as I got it. I was like, yeah. That's if you can see. I was saying that yesterday, I was like, it's gonna make my day as soon as I, uh, as soon as it arrives. Let me tell y'all, it really, it actually made my day, but the way I was so tired, as you, and let me tell. So as soon as it like, um, I went with my siblings yesterday to buy like some the extension cord and the and the hangers, right? Oh, I never showed this. So then, um, as I went, I did tell my mom that what's in here. Cleaning stuff, right? Yeah. So I told my brother to pick up the delivery for me once it arrives. Then, as and um, as we uh, got back, he did. He told me that it arrived, etc. And hmm, now me finding out like more pockets, more stuff. Okay, I guess it's just a manual. I'm not even gonna read it. Let me see if there's more. It looks like it's well packed, honestly. It's just boxes. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yesterday. Then we went. I got what I had to. I got back home. He told me that uh, they already delivered it. And I was so excited. I was like, okay. Firstly, I was actually annoyed at some point in the mall because we were requesting an Uber and no one was picking up. So that was annoying because my head was hurting and I had to deal with that. But yeah, as soon as I got back, and then he told me that like, they delivered it, I was excited, you know, first thing I wanted to do was see, like, what? And yeah, so then I opened it, I checked. Time we had low trading, so I couldn't really, like, start setting it up and, uh, and all that stuff. Bro, I'm so happy. Tell me why. As like, <sighs> the amount of times you're going to hear me say, tell me why. But as I'm recording, telling you guys about, um, about, what was I telling you about? The laptop and how, like, yesterday and all that stuff, right? So I uh, receive a call and since I'm recording with my phone, I had to pick it up. Now as I pick it up, it's like virgin active. Let me tell you how convenient that call was because today I had to go. Part of the plans that I had today is go to Pretoria, go to virgin active, sort out my issue with them. Not really an issue, but they ugh, just a lot of complications basically, right? Sort out that. After sorting that out, then go, to, go on campus, um, meeting up with someone etc etc like that's just gonna unfold itself throughout the day but today uh mainly the whole thing about like the gym can you tell me why they were pissing me off so much uh last year right i froze my gym membership gym account for two months which was uh, december and january i froze it then i uh then it obviously unfreezes in february now i'm like okay cool no problem because i knew during the holidays i was not gonna go to the gym mainly because the gym here is like way further away as opposed to in Pretoria. In Pretoria it's literally like downstairs, literally. Whereas here it's like, it's so far away. Like you need to drive tap of away. It's really bad. So I was like, yeah, I'm not really gonna do that. And if I do, then I'm just gonna be going like here and there, which is a waste. Cause like, nah, I like being consistent, you know? Anyways, so then I froze my account, all was well. Then um, like Feb came, I, it's weird, but like I had to pay using my cash back, which I did and so I had like a remaining amount That amount was in my account. I'm waiting for them to take it out like normal every other month They do that. They just take out the money and they don't ask me for anything. They just take it So I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. Just take it like any other month and they didn't and I'm like what what's going on? Right, so then I uh, started sending emails like imagine I'm concerned that they are not taking their money like any other person would not care but yeah i started insisting i started sending them emails like because i really wanted to go back to the gym as soon as school starts because that's like the best timing in my opinion as soon as school starts etc and i'm sending emails and they, they suck at responding to emails they like really suck it's really bad so then um i sent emails tell me why like two weeks later they replied to my emails at some point i just gave up i'm like okay i'm just gonna wait for the day that i go in person to sort it out because they're not it's actually their fault and the reason why i was sending the email was just to show them that i tried okay i have proof that i've been trying to contact you guys 
and it was your fault like it was on your end but anyways so he called today he's like oh i'm calling about your payment da -da -da. and i explained to him everything i'm like yeah i've been trying to pay but da -da -da, et cetera, et cetera. then he's like okay can i send you the stuff to pay now and i'm like okay no problem like do it now i've been waiting for this and every time i call like someone um from virgin active like if i don't send an email and then um if i send an email and they don't pick up i'll call so then i call and it'll always be so annoying they waste my airtime because they uh like you call and then they do the whole like song thing that just waste your airtime and just makes you lose your patience honestly i really be losing my patience i'll just be there like just pick up just pick up and when they do pick up they'll be like you're now caller number two on the <laughs> bruh but yeah so i'm just so happy that that's sorted out now i don't have to go to the gym anymore because i just sorted that whole issue i just needed them to take their money imagine but yeah, so that's done. And that was the reason why I was going to go to Pretoria earlier on today. No, not really, but like early as in like time-wise. Not That's the only reason I was going to go. So yeah, now I don't have to go that early because I was planning on going at 10. But let me tell y'all. So I told you yesterday how today I'm going to go and collect uh, my suitcases, etc. Because I'm going to try to take the train um, to school um here so mainly today was just gonna be go there take my suitcases and stuff come back here try organize everything uh if there's stuff to wash wash it etc and um sort out the gym issue now that's done so yeah that's basically the only reason i'm going to pretoria today and then um ex-roommate she messaged me and she's like she's because she's part of some committee type thing and she's going to be on campus so she told me i should go to i should go on campus we're going to meet up there and um because she ordered things from she and, and i just added some of my items in her i just added some of my items in her um cart and so i also need to collect that from her so that's mainly like today's whole plan explain i'm just so grateful that the gym sorted out themselves i don't like talking to them in person it's like ugh, i don't want to talk to you i don't wanna, <laughs> i don't want to talk i don't want to explain myself so i'm just so grateful that they called that sorted at some point i stopped caring because i was like i've been sending emails i've been calling i've been trying to get you guys to get your money but you don't seem like you want it so much so yeah at least that's done but as i was saying about yesterday at some point once i like received the laptop i was so happy but then there was load shading so i couldn't really set it up and stuff so i was like let me wait until like we have electricity again and then i'll set it up etc so now i was so tired right and i'm like okay as soon as i get back home i'm gonna sleep so then i got home got my laptop put it away because waiting for electricity now i'm like just laying in bed and like my brain is awake but my body is so tired like ah can you like i'm actually sleeping but i'm awake at some point i just gave up because I, I couldn't fall asleep so then i was like okay it is what it is like i don't want to sleep but i'm tired so yeah whatever and then i just started cleaning up and then um like electricity came back now i was setting up my laptop because i was too excited to do that so i started setting up my laptop whole time i forgot i didn't forget i didn't forget okay i planned like in the morning i told you about it so i didn't forget but like whole time i'm thinking okay maybe like around 10 p.m i'm going to call jayla and we're going to watch the movie and they can do like whatever we planned already right so then um <clears throat> wait yeah so then i set it up then at some point i was getting tired again because remember i didn't really like sleep throughout the day and I, like the morning before i barely slept anyways so i was like really tired then um i was like okay you know what it is what it is i'm going to stay up because of this movie we're gonna watch this movie we're gonna bake etc then um uh called like jayla called me and then i didn't see it then i called her once i saw it then we started like i just mm, i don't even know how to explain this but point is point is that she couldn't bake or like cook whatever we were planning to do because her kitchen was being used and um so we decided let's just watch the movie but time we watched the movie we watch movies like on facetime so time my phone was charging so my phone was on low bed i was like girl the odds they're just against us right now they're so against us because yo what so we didn't end up watching it so we decided to move it to today that's why i really want to go get all these like going to pretoria coming back i want to get that done as early as possible so by the time i get back around three i'm hoping no, I don't want to get back around 3. Like, I want to get back around 1. Then I can rest. Then 
probably set up whatever I can, like organize whatever I can, and then around three, then we can like do whatever we like the baking and stuff. Because yo, I thought it was gonna be a cool idea to do it at night. Nah, clearly it's not. I got so tired. I was like, yeah, no, I'm dozing off. I'm fighting with my eyes to stay awake. So, yeah. But that's basically today's plans. I'm just so excited that the gym cold because that was all my nerves. That was itching me. But I'm so glad that that's done. But yeah, let me just um play this while I get ready. While I just do some makeup or whatever. Oh, what else? Oh my days! I forgot to tell you. I also fixed my tripod. Remember I told you all yesterday and like I broke it. Wait. Let me show you these ads. But yeah, yesterday I was like, I, I was like, I broke it yesterday. Let me show you. If you can see, kindly focus. I would really appreciate that. Yeah, look, like this part fell off. Oh my gosh, and I'm showing you my ugly nail. But yeah, the part fell off, and I used nail glue to like stick it back. And it's back to normal it works again not like it stopped working but like now it's a tripod again before it, it was a selfie stick once it broke i was like okay i guess i'm just gonna be holding you like this but yeah i'm glad that i fixed that but yeah let me get this done okay i'll be so sick you niggas i can't you think i'll be so bold myself when you come in fuck me i feel so ordinary said when you won't round me treat me like all the way Smile lines. Baby, I'm arguments. You air me out. Tripping about your whereabouts. I can't keep no conflict with you. What can we just rub it out? I don't want no sad bitch. You know you my thug, and I can't shake this habit. No. Not everyone being on campus today. <sighs> Am I looking forward for this next week? I don't even know. One moment I'm excited for next week. Back to school. Next moment I'm like, oh my gosh, it's actually happening. Okay, now let me call. so tired actually makes no sense I could have always I could have always done this tomorrow but since I plan to do this today I'm just like let me just do it today oh I'm so tired like literally came back after collecting all this stuff what a long ride it was so long but it was fun and so entertaining before going in I had like while going to Santon I was like I don't like uber drivers that speak too much because oh, they're just so annoying then on my way back, I had like the best Uber driver there is. It was just like, wow. You know, knowing that the like way back was so long, like an hour long. And then just having a good Uber driver at the same time. That was just dope. Like that was God, honestly. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure going with the theme, if you can see. Like the blue hangers that I bought yesterday. It's looking so cute. And then now I run, I ran out of the blue hangers. I'm using the red ones now. And it's just killing the vibes. I know for sure that I need to get at least another pair or set of blue hangers. Because now I'm just randomly putting. Just for the sake of knowing that, okay, it's out of the suitcase. That's something, you know? But I don't like this. Let me sh you see it, right? The blues. And then there's a different shade of blue. And then there's the red. Yeah, I don't like that. I need it to be the same shade of blue. But I'm so tired of setting all these things up. But it's also, at the same time, it's just so much fun. But it's so tiring. And the, I don't know if you can hear me because of the plane. But the realization that I'm actually staying here is hitting as I'm putting all this stuff. But, you know, hopefully it all goes well. Hopefully this is going to be worth it. Just hopefully. I'm really crossing my fingers on this and just trusting God that all will be well. Because there's no other way it can go. Like, it just has to go well. 
but yeah i'm having fun doing this i'm actually not i'm having fun in terms of this area just hanging stuff is fun but the other said like other part we have to actually fold it and put it in the closet <laughs> it's too much work it's not for me it's just too much work but that's why i prefer hangers but i'm gonna get that done let me just continue Thank you.